on these two um, mascaras. Uh, this one is from Prestige and this is in my blackest lashes. Prestige is supposed to be um, a mineral line. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I'm not quite sure whether this is included in that or not. But anyway, this is how it looks like. This is available in Sasa. I'm going to do a comparison with this versus the um, False Lash Effect Max Factor Mascara. These two for me are essentials. I love it. Um, this is a new uh, mascara. I've used this one several times before. I think that I've used about three tubes of this mascara. It's a really good mascara. This is a new tube, um, so I'm just going to open it up because this one has dried out and I really need to replace it with this. One of my subscribers has requested that I do a review on these two mascaras. Um, her name is, I think, Reina Elano. This one, for the My Blackest Lashes, it comes with another um, mascara. It's, um, it's a glittery mascara. And then, of course, this one. So, it was a pack of two for 69 ringgit. This is going for 66 ringgit. Both are available in Sasa. Now, I like these two for different reasons. This particular mascara is very, very black compared to this one. This mascara is more of a grey-black mascara. The pigmentation of the mascara is not that apparent for the Max Factor one. It is more subtle and it's it looks more natural than this one. For this one, it's in blackest black. I think there's only one colour of this. And for this one, you can choose between a blue, a brown, and a black. There are three options to this, and there's only one option to this. The Prestige Mascara does lengthen as well as volumizes the lashes. However, there are a few problems with this mascara. The first one is the brush. The brush is quite big. I do have long lashes and it does tend to hit the, uh, what do you call it, on my brow bone. So it's a little bit difficult for those Asian eyes. It's a little bit difficult in order to use this brush. Um, you really need to be careful. You really need to um, maneuver it in such a way that it doesn't get on your lids. And then the second problem is that it's quite clumpy. It does take out a lot more than it should. It doesn't squeeze out a lot of that mascara from the tube. However, I still do like it very much because it makes my lashes look so big. It volumizes it. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. It looks so good. Would I repurchase this? Yes, uh, definitely I would. I would use this alternately with this one. For this Max Factor Mascara. What I like about it is that um, it squeezes out a lot of that mascara from the uh, brush. So you don't get too much of the product. I love the bristles. The bristles is very short. It doesn't get on my lids. The formula doesn't get on my lids because the bristles are very short. Um, it does volumizes. It does uh, lengthens my lashes. However, it does not give that um, dark false lash effect that I want sometimes. Um, this would be great for a natural look. The Max Factor brush is really great because when you apply it to your lower lashes, it doesn't get on your lower lash line. The mascara doesn't transfer to your lower lash line. So that is a great thing about this mascara. Plus, it is not clumpy at all. The Max Factor Mascara does not flake off, whereas the Prestige one does flake a little bit. So sometimes you will get some fallout. I don't mind, I can just remove it just like that because it's, uh, it's already dried by then. So you don't need to worry about it smearing all over your makeup or all over your face. So that's the reason why sometimes I would prefer this one over the others or this one over this one. 
always repurchase these two together or one or the other because I really like the effect that they give. Um, I really like how easy this one is, the Max Factor one that is. It's easy to apply, it's not flaky, it's not clumpy, but I don't like the fact that it's not dark enough for me, it's just a grey black tone. Whereas this one, it lengthens, it volumizes, and it looks like you're wearing false lashes, um, and it's so black. So I love this too. If you ask me to choose uh, between one or the other, it'll be a bit hard, but I think I'll choose the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara because um, you can always build it up and it's not clumpy and it doesn't look like um, your lashes are sticking together. So yes, I would prefer the Max Factor, but I will always have these two in my collection. Um, I don't stray away from these two anymore. I hope that this review has been very helpful for you in determining whether you would like to purchase um, any of these two uh, mascaras. And um, if you do choose or do try it out, let me know which one you bought in the end. If you have any other mascaras that you would like me to try out, let me know in the comment section below. And I would love to try it out. I want to try out the Revlon Grow Lashes one day. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comment section below too. That's all for now. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!